So my name is Natalka. I'm from I'm from Kyiv, Ukraine. Uh, I used to be an activist of independence in the student union direct action, but I graduated as a student. I'm still helping them, and I'm also also a member and activist of Visual Culture Resource Center, which is more focused on the question of art knowledge and politics and how to present them to public proper research analysis together with them. So if talking about Maidan, I was uh, almost all the time on the ground as a fixing translator for international media. And uh, I suppose I can assume that now the situation in Maidan is, looks like it is before a storm. And people have created in these four months this uh, kind of society. There, they are living in tent, they are occupying buildings. Uh, it's not really accurate to say that uh, they are neo-Nazis. Nazis, far-right, fascists are ruling and uh, right in this protest. Uh, they, amount, they are there, but the amount is quite small. Uh, I don't know <laughs> concrete or detailed uh, statistic or percentage, but it's really one person is the problem that they are having their voice as they are having their political uh, political wishes to go to the parliament that is why they are grabbing that voice and Maidan participators and members who are originally common ordinary people uh, unemployed or employed or people from different NGOs, journalists whenever they are they are just uh, make, uh, having and organizing a number of initiatives and it's a really awkward situation that nobody can actually leave the Maidan. Uh, neither the political rally stage, uh, which are grabbed by this uh, so-called oppositional coalition three parties, uh, nor the far-right fascist Nazis who are presented there groups uh, covered by political party Svoboda and right sector which is a coalition of their different neo-Nazis. Uh, the territory of Maidan is quite small. It's uh, not right to say, it's not true to say that uh, far-right groups are controlling the city. They may be controlling the territory in front of the HQ and buildings on Maidan, but quite slightly. Uh, they sometimes uh, attacking uh, activists they know, but it's not massively, they were attacking activists even before Maidan. Uh, I cannot say that uh, the, the popularity of far right are rising in Ukraine, it's also not very true, it's not accurate, because uh, they are presented there, people, when they started and doing some uh, violent actions like shooting, it was two weeks ago when Red Sector was shooting to the self-defense system, which is uh, different uh, parts, initiatives. On Maidan, uh, people were really upset. And when the Svoboda Party members, together with uh, the members of neo-Nazi group S14 or Siege, were uh, coming to the, uh, to the head of the First National Channel and trying to push him and violently push him to write a retirement, uh, people are also against. So, uh, so I can assume, I can suppose that people now get into the position of uh, non-violence. Non they survived through the shootings in February, they survived through the police violence. So structurally, Maidan, even if it, they were having some wishes uh, or some hope for patriotism or nationalism and far right and fascists are presenting themselves as nationalism on Maidan and whenever they are in rhetoric. They, uh, people now are coming to the ideas of uh, against war, coming to the ideas uh, against police brutality and against police and also Maidan is still staying there and people there uh, going to stay furthermore uh, until the government and political changes is happening and the members. But uh, it's hard to imagine how, who should come to 
who should come to rule the, part of the state, the people in Maidan will be pleased. Uh, people now getting more politically involved, more politically aware, and more attentive for the information and for who they are choosing or something. Yes, it is uh, for Ukraine. It is the situation when it's when it's uh, early to say like it's uh, early to say about some uh, really participatory democracy or like uh, real socialism or uh, far left ideas but uh, that is how it happened now there that is uh, what we have after Soviet Union or that every left idea and every leftist are treated as uh, communist, Stalinist and uh, and, and uh, those who are having some nostalgic love to Soviet Union. So we are trying to get it through. So the only, the only hope that we can assume now for the Europe and all the participant members of Maidan people are hoping not to have a war. Because war, of course, is... is uh, will bring people to more radical and to more uh, authoritarian positions. So, as I said in the beginning, now uh, people are expecting uh, for some storm, and the storm might happen something around elections on 25th of May. And before that, it might, it might be that troops around eastern regions uh, will troops from Russia, we call them Green <laughs> Aliens, uh, will do something, will provoke. And people are trying to keep calm but active. That's it. Okay.